Well, God bless you. God bless you. You're now listening to Pastor R.L. Sharp, pastor of the Impartation Family Worship Center. And you're listening to the glory of oneness. Uh, we've changed the name of the uh, show from Impartation Family Worship Center to Glory of Oneness for uh, the sole purpose uh, because it's time that we as a body of believers become one in God. Uh, today I am going to just talk to you. Today I don't have a specific message or a specific topic that I want to talk about today, but I do want to share with you uh, that this is Pastor R.L. Sharp, pastor of the Impartation Family Worship Center. And we are from Romans 1 and 11, where it says that I am glad and excited to see you, that I may impart into you spiritual gifts. And that's where the name uh, Impartation came from. Uh, I was stationed in Germany. When I was in the military and I was laying in my bed and the Lord gave me to change the name of our ministry from miracles of faith to impartation because he's given me the gift of teaching that I may impart into the people of God the spiritual gifts of God and knowledge uh, and understanding of the word of God that the people may get spiritual gifts imparted into them. And, I, and, and Paul said, I long to see you, that I may impart into you spiritual gifts. Uh, so that's where we get the scripture, Romans 1 and 11. And we're excited about the new things that God is doing and that God is going to give this ministry to help do mighty things in this city. So I am believing God for great and mighty things. And we are located uh, right here at 2062 North Bend Road. You can come join us there every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. And we will be there. We'll be happy to worship with you and to pray with you and to, to minister to you as God gives us to minister to the needs of the people of God. Amen. And then you can write us at P.O. Box 5. Uh, 3164, that's Cincinnati, Ohio, 45253. Listen, I want you to sit down tonight or whenever you're watching this show, and I want you to write me your prayer request. And I want to send you, when you write me your prayer request, I want to send you this bottle of oil that I have that the Lord has allowed me to pray over and to fast over that I may give to the people of God, that miracles can be wrought in their lives. Um, I, I, I laid, gave uh, a young lady the oil, a bottle of this oil, and I told her, uh, gave her directions on what to do with the oil. And I said, if you do this, then God will do the rest. And she was looking for an apartment. She just moved here to the city, and she was looking for a place to live. And I said, here, take this bottle of oil and anoint your hands. I said, you go to look at apartments. You go to look at houses. When you see the one that you like and the one that you want, I want you to touch that doorknob. And all I want you to do is say, it's mine. She did it, and she did the application for the apartment. And the following morning, they called her and told her she can move in. Uh, see, and that's just God. I told her, rub it on your hands, go to the dealership, shake the hand of the, the, the salesman, and watch God do the rest. Now she's driving in a brand new car. Listen, I want to send you this bottle of oil. I want to give you uh, this oil and give you directions on how to use this bottle of oil. I need you to send me your prayer request. Send it to this uh, P.O. box. And I want to lay my hands on your prayer request. And I want to send you this bottle of oil with directions on how to use the bottle of oil and watch God perform miracles in your life. I just believe that God is going to take us back to the days of miracles being done and seen to show the people that God is real. 
So I want you to sit down and write me your prayer request. I want to send you this bottle of oil. Make sure you give me your address that I can send you this oil. And the oil didn't come from uh, Israel, and I didn't go to Egypt, and I didn't go to Jerusalem to get the oil. No, I got the oil from Kroger's. And the Lord allowed me to just fast over this bottle of oil and pray over this oil. Uh, and he gave me directions on what to do with the oil and how to use the oil. And I want to send you this bottle of oil and the directions on how to use the oil. Um, so I have a small bottle and I have a bigger bottle of oil. I have one about this size that I will send to the people of God. And I have one about this size that I will send to the people of God. Doesn't matter, whichever one you get, just follow the directions. And God will do the rest. Amen. Or now you can call us if you need to. You can call us at 513-799-5099. And we'll uh, I'll be glad uh, to take your information over the phone. Uh, and we will send you this bottle of oil. Amen. We want to. We just want the people of God to be blessed. We want the people of God to receive their miracles and receive their uh, blessings that God has in store for them. So you can sit down, you can call us, or you can write us your prayer request. Send your prayer request to the address right there on your screen so we can uh, get you this bottle of oil so you can apply it to the things that you're believing God for and watch God work a miracle in your life. Like I said, this is Pastor Sharp. Pastor Ariel Sharp, pastor of the Impartation Family Worship Center. And you are looking right now on your TV screen to the glory of oneness broadcast. And we are excited about the things that God is doing. Amen. I want to talk with you. I just want to share with you. I'm excited about the... Um, thing that God is doing right now in the life of the people of God. I am excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, I had a chance to sit down and, and kind of regroup and regather myself and regather my thoughts and to look into the eyes of God and allow God to speak to me. Allow God to speak to my heart. Allow God to uh, speak to my spirit because there's some things that we've been going through. There's some things that we've been facing. I'm not talking about as a church right now. I'm talking about as a person. I'm talking about me. Some battles that I've been going through um, that I've been needing some time to talk with God. I've been needing some time to spend with the Lord. And in that time, then that's when God gave me to give the people of God this bottle of oil, oil. And he gave me the directions with this oil. If you follow the direction, watch this. Because here's a lot of time where the people of God miss their blessing because they want to add or they want to take away from the directions that are given to them. Watch this. The Bible says that the king went to the widow woman and she said, all I have, the prophet went to the widow woman. And she said, all I have is this cruel of oil and this flour. And I'm going to cook a meal. And me and my son are going to eat this one meal. And it's over for us because we don't have no more food. There was a famine in the land. And the Bible says that that woman followed the directions of the prophet. Watch this. The prophet said, fix me one first. And all she did was follow the direction. She prepared the meal for the prophet, gave it to the prophet. And the Bible says that her barrel never went empty, following the direction. Not adding to, not taking away. See, that's the issue with us as people of God. We want to add to. The prophet can tell you, just go home and lay your hands on your husband's pillow. You ain't got to do nothing. Just lay your hands on the pillow. But we want to go home and lay the hands on the pillow and pray and, and say in the name. We want to do all this other stuff and add stuff. And that's why we never see 
the fullness of the miracle that we're believing God for. Just follow the directions. The Bible said that the blind man, Jesus spit in the sand, made clay, and he told the man, just put them on your eyes. And the man just put them on his eyes. And the Bible said the man began to see. Follow the directions of the Lord. Follow the directions of the prophet. Follow the directions. The Bible says in the book of Amos, the Bible says that he reveals his secrets unto the prophet, unto the servant, his prophet, unto the prophet his servant. Listen, if you follow the directions of the prophet that God gives the prophet to give to you, don't add to it, don't take away from it, just follow the directions and God will do the rest. So with this bottle of oil that I want to send you, I want to send you this bottle of oil, and I want you to follow the directions with this oil that I will send with, with the oil that God may bless you and that God may begin to impart, as the scripture says, that God may begin to impart into you spiritual gifts, and then you can see the move and the power of God working your life. I want you to be blessed. I want you to prosper. I want you to be in good health. I want you to receive everything that God has for you to receive. I'm, I'm going to send you. I want you to send me your prayer request. Send me your prayer request to this P.O. box. Send me your prayer request. And I want to pray over your prayer request that I want to send you this bottle of oil that you may follow the directions that come with the oil and watch God perform a miracle in your life. I believe he can do it. I know he'll do it. If you follow the directions, then God will do what needs to be done in what you're believing God for. You're believing God for a car. You're believing God for a house. You're believing God for your loved ones to be saved. If you're believing God to work miracles in your husband's life, in your wife's life, in your children's life. You're believing God for a job. If you're believing God for more money, just follow the directions and God will do what needs to be done in your life. Amen. So send your prayer requests to the addresses on your screen. And I want to send you this bottle of oil that God may work a miracle in your life. And I believe he can do it. Uh, don't worry, that address will be back on your screen again before the broadcast is over. And you can send me your prayer request. But I just want to talk to you today. Like I said earlier, I don't have a specific topic that I want to talk about today. I don't have a specific message that I want to talk about today. I just want to talk to you about the directions and the oil that I want to send to you. I want you to know that God is going to bless you tremendously if you follow the directions. Like I said, the finances, healing uh, in your body, healing in your loved one's body, uh, deliverance in your family, deliverance in your home, uh, peace, uh, joy, uh, the finances, employment, homes, automobiles, whatever you're believing God for, I'm sending you the directions that God has given me to give to the people of God that they may be blessed and that they may receive the things that God wants them to have. I am a firm believer. I am a, uh, I am a prosperity, faith, praise, teaching prophet, preacher, pastor. These are the things that I preach. These are the things that I teach about. I teach about prosperity. I teach about wealth. I teach about health. I teach about those things. I teach about salvation. I teach about living right. I teach about having the gifts of the Holy Ghost. I teach about having things that God wants you to have because that's my ministry. And I believe that God does things because people follow 
the direction that God gives to me to give to the people. And then they are blessed. It's not for my glory. It's not that you get the, the, the you know, oh, look what God done. And, uh, no, it's for the glory of God. It's for the glory of God that the people of God receive their healing, their wealth, their prosperity. The Bible says in Job 36 and 11, if you obey and serve me, then you'll spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasure. My job as a minister, as a servant of God, my job is to teach you scripture, biblical ways to receive your prosperity in God. And if you follow the directions that I'm teaching, I guarantee you, if I be a man of God, if you follow the directions, God will perform miracles in your life. I can tell you now, uh, there's a song, y'all, I believe Pastor Mike and uh, uh, Sister uh, Kiara Shears made. And in part of that song, it says, you're looking at a miracle. And I'm here to tell you now, you are looking at a miracle right here. I am a miracle uh, that God has done in my life, if I shared my testimony with you from where the God has brought me from, and I'm not talking about before I met the Lord. I'm even talking about after I met God. You know, some of us, we don't want to be truthful and honest. You know, we, 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 we didn't gave our life to God and we didn't forgot the past. We didn't forgot about what God has brought us from. We don't want to share uh, none of that with the people of God. Let me share something with you. You overcome by the words of your testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Our testimony helps other people to overcome the things that they're going through. It helps them to know that God is real. If I share with you what God brought me from, you will be amazed. So I can say for surety, you're looking at a miracle. And I want to be able to share this bottle of oil with you so God can perform miracles in your life as he did in mine. I am excited. I, I understand and I, I, I feel what has been meant to be felt with the song, Look Where the Lord Has Brought Me From. Brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he's brought me from. Then the pen writer picked up his pen. The songwriter picked up his pen and wrote these words. Never will forget what God has brought me from. Ah, y'all don't, don't understand these old songs have substance to them. They have meaning to them. And I love the old songs because they can help you through uh, what you're facing. Huh? One pen writer, one songwriter picked up his pen and he wrote these words. He said, I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, seeking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. From the water he lifted me, now saved am I. It was love that lifted me. If it had not been for the love of God, uh, we would not be where we are. It was God's love and his grace and his mercy that kept us thus far. huh? Uh, so I want to share with you this bottle of oil. I want to share with you this bottle of oil. So send me your prayer request, please. Let me pray with you. Let me believe God with you for your miracles. Send it to this P.O. Box, P.O. Box 31531, 64, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45253. I want to send you this bottle of oil with the directions uh, so that God can perform a miracle in your life. Amen. Now, listen, I want you to, if, 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 if you're looking for a church home, you need somewhere to go on Sunday mornings, you say, I need something new. I need a word from the Lord. Meet me right here. 
at 2062 North Bend Road, right there in the city, in the community of College Hill, right on the corner of North Bend and Simpson Avenue. Meet us right there on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. I want to pray with you. I want to lay my hands on you. I want to give you the directions that God has given me to give to you that you may, that you may walk in your fullness of God, that you may walk in the blessings that God has for you, that you may walk in your deliverance. A lot of times we get delivered, but we fall back into what God has delivered us from. I want to show you, and I want to teach you how to stay delivered. I want to teach you how to get delivered and how to stay delivered. And you do that by remaining, remaining in the flow, in the fellowship of the people of God. And you got to have a, 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 a prayerful uh, partner, one that knows how to pray, one that knows how uh, to, to get to the God, that knows how to pray you through, not just pray, but can break down the walls of the enemy around your life. Listen, I want to show you through the word of God how God has designed for you to walk in your deliverance, for you to walk in your fullness, for you to walk in your prosperity, for you to walk in your wealth and in good health. Uh, I want to show you in the word of God how God has designed before the foundation of the earth before the foundation of the world, God had already prepared your wealth. He's already prepared your healing. He's already prepared your prosperity before all that was done, uh, before the trees were planted, before the oceans were filled, before the fishes were in the ocean, before the birds flew in the air, before food began to grow on the trees and grapes began to grow on the vine, before all of that, God had already had you in mind, and he already had your victory in mind. And I, through the word of God, God has given me directions to give to the people of God on how to receive their prosperity, how to receive their healing, how to receive their health, how to receive their wealth, how to receive their deliverance. And I want to share with you out of the word of God on Sunday mornings. I want to share with you on Sunday mornings right here at 2062 North Bend Road. Uh, I want to share with you on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. How to receive the things that God has promised you. There's nothing that should be able to hold you back. If we follow the principles of God, nothing shall hold us back. Nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God. If we follow the direction of the scriptures that God has left for us to follow, if we don't deviate from that, if we don't add to that, if we don't take away from that, and we just follow the directions that God has laid out for us, we will walk in our total victory. You want God to enlarge your territory? You want God to bless your family? You want God to bless your home? Listen, meet me Sunday morning at 11 a.m. right here on North Bend Road and watch how God will miraculously give you directions for your life that you may move forward in your life. Some of us are stuck in a rut. Some of us are stuck right where we are. We need to move from where we're stuck at. I want you to meet me Sunday morning right here at that address on your screen. I want you to meet me Sunday morning at 11 a.m. and watch God meet you right where you are. Amen. Listen, I don't have much time. 
have about four minutes left before this segment is over. But I want to share with you um, this bottle of oil. I want you to send me your prayer request uh, to this address. Send me your prayer request. I want to share with you this bottle of oil with the directions that's going to come with this oil. And I want you to just follow the directions and watch God uh, heal, deliver, set free, and perform miracles in your life. You believe in God for uh, God to heal your husband, to heal your wife, then the directions, all you have to do is follow. Follow the directions. With this bottle of oil that I'm going to send you, all you have to do is rub your hands, rub the pillow that your husband lays his head on. You ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to do nothing. Just rub the pillowcase and watch God heal his body. Watch God heal her body. Watch God touch their mind and give them a newness. Follow the directions. Just ball of oil. Rub it on your hands. Lay your hands on the shoulder of the person you believe in God to save. You ain't got to say nothing. Just touch them. And watch God perform miracles. Giving you directions already with the oil that I'm sending you. I want to give you that word. Watch God perform. If you just follow the directions uh, of the, what I'm sending you with this oil. So meet us on Sunday mornings right here at this address on your screen at 11 a.m. Yes, and watch God work a miracle. Meet me right here on Sunday mornings. That address right there. Meet me right there on Sunday mornings, and I want you to be able to uh, meet me here so I can do this in your life, that I may impart unto you, into you, uh, spiritual gifts uh, of the Lord. Amen. Uh, so until next time, I want you to know that God loves you, we love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. Until next time, may the Lord bless you. Thank you. Yeah.